Today was a very successful day in Thailand prep land. Um, I picked up all of the drugs I need to keep me safe. So I got something for typhoid fever. It's like a vaccine, but you take it orally. Then I got something for travel sickness and for outdoor activities. Still waiting on my malaria drug because my insurance needs to know why I'm going for so long. And waiting to see if I need the Japanese encephalitis vaccine because that's really expensive. And if I don't need it, I'm not gonna get it. All right, ignore my messy room. I'm about to leave for Thanksgiving and I'm just trying to get the last bit of Thailand stuff ready. When I come back, I have to get my visa and then everything else. So today I got my international driver's permit. So it just looks like this and it is valid January 1st. 2020 and then we'll work for a year and then I'll have to get a new one. It was only $20. All I did was go into AAA, uh, my nearest AAA here in LA, and then it took literally 10 minutes and I was out of there and I have it. It's not like they have to mail it to you like a visa or anything like that. And then you just have, you have to bring passport pictures. So I got those taken before. And then it's just looks like this and it tells you all the places that you can use it. And they said it's super needed in Thailand. So we'll see if I actually use it. It was only 20 bucks, last me a year. We'll see. Um, I am also going today to get the first round of my Japanese, Japanese encephalitis immunization. Um, nice and costly. It's like $365 per round and I need two rounds of it. But it's highly recommended if you're going for more than a month and I'm going for five months. So, gotta do what you gotta do. And insurance doesn't cover it because it's a travel. It's needed for travel and not for like daily life or whatever. So I'm getting that and then, yeah. I've been ordering so much stuff. I'll do like a little overview of everything that I've ordered for this trip and yeah, so much, so exciting, can't wait. Um, finally got my housing figured out. I'm staying in the non-C residence in Bangkok and I'll have a studio apartment, getting that all sorted out. I have a group chat with the other international students, so that's been super fun. Get to pick my classes soon. And yeah, everything's coming together and I'm super excited. Today I wanna go over a lot of the things that I bought off Amazon. Um, and REI and different things like that to prepare me for whatever crazy things I'm gonna do. So the most, most important one is this Osprey backpack. It is a Fairview 55 liter women's um, travel backpack. And so I am going to be using that when I go on small trips um, to different countries, to just like weekend trips, things like that. Um, it has this, one of the things that really made me want to get it is this little um, day pack. And the day pack actually zips onto the bigger backpack. So it's just a nice like all-in-one um, thing that I can take on like a quick weekend travel trip. Um, I also got this, which is a um, inflatable neck pillow, which I love neck pillows on planes and stuff, but also hate lugging them around. So I got a tiny one, it's inflatable, super easy. I used it when I just I just went um, to Virginia for Thanksgiving, brought it with me, also brought the day pack. Didn't bring the big pack, but brought the day pack. Perfect size, it's so cute, but also like has the pockets you need and has um, everything you could want in a backpack. With that, I also got some packing cubes, also from Osprey. Got these off Amazon, it was like 30 bucks for three. Um, they're really good quality. They're light, um, and I, yeah, I used them also because I only brought a carry-on, and so didn't have much room. So packing cubes, super necessary for, which I've used them in the past, but not like a lot because I always overpacked. Um, so it'll be nice for the backpack to be able to have everything 
easily accessible. Um, something that was super highly recommended with all the like travel blogs and vlogs that I watched was a pack safe. Got this off Amazon. It's a little pricey, but I think I'm going to use it so much when I'm there. So this goes around your backpack. You can lock it up, lock it to something. So, I mean, it's not completely theft proof, but it will help deter theft. And then, oh, another really important thing is this Grail water bottle. Also got this off Amazon, and it's a filtered water bottle, so I haven't used this yet. So basically, this, you put the water in here, this squishes down, and the water like sifts through it as you squish it down, and then your water is in here, has this nice leak-proof top, and you have filtered water. So I've heard a lot of like blogs saying that you can't drink the water in Thailand, so hopefully this will be what I need to make sure I am very hydrated. Lastly, um, important things are just a couple locks. Um, these are just little code locks that I can use on pretty much anything, day packs, backpacks, I don't know, whatever I need. Um, yeah, that's like the most important things that um, I needed. So I have two and a half weeks until I leave for home and then I'm leaving from home to Thailand. So today I got my last Japanese encephalitis vaccine. So done with all the immunizations that I need. And I also went and laminated. People think I'm crazy. I've read that it's recommended to do this, which makes sense. But also I'm probably crazy too. Got everything laminated, so I have my passport, my ID, my acceptance letter, and my birth certificate laminated, and then printed out some other things just in case anything were to happen and I would need that. I have it. I also got these nice, oops, now you can't see it, document pouches. Um, that will be useful in case anything spills. They're waterproof. Um, again, it's laminated, so it doesn't really matter. But for the other things that I didn't laminate, it's also nice. Um, I completed... Ooh, I need to grab this. I completed my immunization record. Um, it's just a sheet that says all the immunizations I've had so I'll have to scan this and make sure I have it when I need it in case I do um, I'm going to get my visa tomorrow hopefully everything goes smoothly with that and yeah see you there Hi, um, I need to pick up study rod paper. Okay, can I see your ID, please? Yeah. Okay. So, it is 8.42, and the Thai consulate is, like, half a block that way, and they open at 9, so I'm hopefully going to be, like, the first one in there, and then we will see what happens. Um, I've heard it doesn't take very long, like I could even come back tonight and pick it up tonight. Um, but yeah, I have like 20 minutes to kill and let's get this over with. Got all my documents and ready to roll. See you later. Hardest part's over. Um, I was in and out of there in 45 minutes super super easy mostly it was just waiting um the actual time at the window was maybe like five minutes um and i can come back tomorrow morning and pick it up so overall great experience with the thai consulate and assuming everything is good when i pick it up tomorrow i'm good to go all right so these videos have been completely all over the place and i've no idea if this is even gonna turn into a vlog because it's so scrambled. Um, but I leave tomorrow morning and I'm so excited. And I'm going to Alaska for a week and a half and then to Thailand. Yeah, stay tuned for a getting there and my first impressions and 
everything like that, it's gonna be a whirlwind and everything's gonna be so different. So thanks for tagging along. See you then.